Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're taking a look today at Netflix running on Android because as you know, Netflix added the ability to download content for offline viewing and initially that uh, download would only go onto your device's main storage. So if you had a lot of photos and other stuff on your uh, phone or tablet, you couldn't download all that much. Uh, but on Android now, you can download to SD cards. If you have a micro SD card installed like I do on uh, this tablet here, uh, you can download onto that card. And those cards are pretty cheap these days. You can get a pretty big card and download a whole bunch of Netflix content. And the reason why you might want to do that is because if you have kids who watch the same thing on Netflix over and over and over again, you've been uh, downloading or streaming that data constantly. And if you have a data cap on your internet plan, whether it be mobile or home, uh, you're likely hitting that cap and getting charged extra. So this is a way to uh, download all their favorite content up front, put it on an SD card, and every time they watch it, it comes off the card and not off your internet connection. You might save yourself a ton of money here in the process. And all you gotta do is buy an SD card if you already have an Android device that supports that. So I'm gonna show you how all of this works here in just a second. But I do wanna mention in the interest of full disclosure that I'm paying for my Netflix account on my own. Uh, they are not sponsoring this video. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one has reviewed this content content before it is posted, although uh, this uh, NVIDIA K1 tablet uh, came into the channel free of charge a little while ago for some uh, content we did with it, but uh, they are not paying for this either. So let's take a look at the app. You all know how Netflix works, and if you go into uh, one of your favorite shows like mine here, Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, once it loads up here on the screen, we'll see on the uh, bottom here that you have these little download arrows now, and you can just click that and download content to your device. But not every show supports that. So if I go over here to Star Wars, the Clone Wars, uh, Disney doesn't want you downloading Star Wars. You can download Star Trek, but not Star Wars, and that's going to be on a studio-by-studio -studio basis, though. Uh, most of Netflix's content, obviously their own content, is uh, fully downloadable. And if you want a very quick way of finding what you can download, uh, just hit the little hamburger menu here and go over to Available for Download, which will be right underneath the home. And uh, what it'll do is take your recommendations and uh, give you things that you can download onto your device, which is very useful. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you get it onto your SD card. So what you do is go back to that menu, go all the way down to the bottom and go over here to app settings. And what you're going to see here is download location. And all you got to do is uh, select your SD card and you're good to go. Now this stuff is going to get encrypted. So you have to watch it on the Netflix app only. And it's only going to work, I believe, on the app that downloaded it. So I don't think you could take the card out and put it into a different device and watch it on that one, but it will work on the device that downloaded it. So uh, just bear in mind, it's encrypted. You can only uh, watch Netflix uh, stuff with the Netflix app, but it will store that stuff on that SD card, which I think is a uh, really good deal uh, for watching stuff. And if you wanna clear off the card just to get rid of everything, you can delete the downloads here, uh, or you can go over to your show where it's downloaded uh, and delete it over there. And there's another way you can do it too. If you go over here to uh, downloaded, uh, my downloads, you can see everything that's already on the device and you can uh, delete episodes after you are done watching that. So uh, really useful stuff there. Now, one of the things that I really like about Netflix is the kids interface because I have a, a little three-year-old who I don't want seeing everything that's available on Netflix. I wanna see some uh, curated stuff here. And as you can see, we've got this really nice kids interface here and I can uh, select uh, the uh, Clifford, I think that's Clifford there. We'll just uh, tap on Clif Clifford. And uh, when we go over to one of the Clifford videos, we can now see that there is a, a download option available for those as well, which is great because on Amazon Video, which is also allowing you now to download onto SD card on Android, uh, they don't have the download function enabled for their kid interface. So you have to stream everything on the kid's side of the interface, although you can do some parental restrictions on the app and whatnot. Not as nice as the Netflix interface here, especially when it comes to downloading. So you could download all this stuff and all her favorite things she can watch again off the SD card uh, versus streaming over my network and costing me money. So a uh, really good uh, thing maybe when you first get it set up to go through all the stuff that they're watching and download as much as you can. Uh, Netflix has limitations on uh, what can be downloaded, as you saw with Star Wars. They also, uh, depending on the studio, limit how many things from one uh, particular show you can download. It's going to vary based on the show, so you'll just have to experiment and see what you're uh, able to get downloaded onto your device there. But again, really nice to see that on the kids' interface. One more thing to show you, and that is the video quality here. So let me switch back over to my account. Um, because there are two different uh, video qualities you can select. There's standard and high quality. And I found the standard video on a phone, something like around this size, this is an iPhone 7 Plus, 
Um, it looks pretty good on here, and uh, it didn't really, I didn't see a lot of the compression artifacts or any low quality uh, experiences with the video on a smaller screen. I did find when I was in uh, standard mode on uh, the tablet here with an 8 inch screen that I was definitely noticing the video looking pretty uh, pixelated and uh, highly compressed. So what you want to do here is go back to that menu, go over to download video quality, and uh, just set it to high. That'll of course take longer to download, it'll also take up more room, but uh, if you have a big SD card on your device, it really shouldn't matter. Now, if you have one of these Amazon tablets, like this one I just bought for my youngest daughter the other day, uh, you shouldn't have any issues because Amazon tablets run Android apps. You just get them from Amazon's App Store, but the underlying operating system is still Android, and therefore the SD card downloading with Netflix as well as Amazon Video uh, will work on this, so you're good to go on those. Unfortunately, uh, Android TV boxes like the NVIDIA Shield TV here uh, do not yet support offline viewing. I hope they add it in the future because I think it is a good way to uh, circumvent some of these data caps if you can download uh, the stuff that your kids are watching over and over again onto the device here. It would certainly uh, save me a little bandwidth. So hopefully that will happen at some point in the future. Now, if you've got an iOS device like this iPhone uh, or an iPad, you will not be able to download to external storage because first of all, these devices don't support SD cards. And even though there are ways of getting uh, external storage added to these devices, uh, none of those external storage solutions will work with Netflix. So uh, you're going to be limited to your internal memory on uh, your iPad and your iPhone, but you're going to have a lot of flexibility using an Android tablet like this one or one of the Amazon tablets. So really cool stuff to see this flexibility coming from Netflix, and I've already done it on a long flight already, and it's been great to uh, take my content with me. And you can do that, of course, now with the Amazon Video app as well. So you've got plenty of options for uh, watching all of your favorite content on the road. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.